This video will show you how to properly install your HZ Connect video doorbell and guide you through all the necessary steps to ensure your install is successful. Let's get started. Inside the carton, you'll find the following items. Video doorbell, a quick start guide, a hardware pack, and the power module. Please read and understand the quick start guide before installing this product. If you're not comfortable installing this product yourself, please consult an electrician or a qualified installer. The back plate comes pre-installed on the video doorbell and is secured by a small screw at the base. Remove this screw and remove the back plate from the doorbell. Do not lose this screw as you'll need it to mount the video doorbell later. Next, you'll need to turn on the doorbell. Locate the rubber cover on the back of the doorbell and using a small flathead screwdriver, lift the rubber cover up to expose the on-off switch. Slide the on-off switch to the left to the on position. If you're installing an optional micro SD card, insert it into the card slot before replacing the rubber cover. Push the card in until you hear it click. That locks the card in place. Put the rubber cover back in place. Next, you will install the power module on your existing door chime base. Before doing this, it's extremely important that you turn off the power to the door chime and push button. Do this by turning off the circuit breaker switch that supplies power to these areas. Remove the cover from your existing door chime base. You'll see a wire connected to the front door or front terminal. This could also be labeled with a capital F. You'll also see a wire connected to the transformer or the trans terminal. This could also be labeled with a capital T. If your home has a rear doorbell, there will be a wire connector to the rear or capital R terminal. For this demonstration, we're installing the video doorbell to the front door. Before removing any wiring, label the transformer and front doorbell wires. This will help you know where these wires go in future steps. Remove the wires from the terminals and straighten the bare wire portions. Flip up one of the orange quick connect paddles and insert the transformer wire into the connector and close down the paddle to secure the wire. Do the same for the front wire. Flip up the other orange quick connect paddle on each quick connect. Insert the bare wire ends of the power module leads into each of the quick connects and close down the paddles to secure the wires. It does not matter which power module wire goes into each quick connect. Attach the power module blade connectors to the correct door chime terminals. Connect the wire labeled T to the transformer terminal and connect the wire labeled F to the front terminal. Use the double-sided tape on the power module to mount the power module to the surface of the door chime. Make sure the power module or its wires do not contact any of the mechanical chime parts or mechanisms. Replace the cover on your door chime base. Now it's time to mount and connect your video doorbell to your home. First, if not already done, disconnect and remove your old doorbell button. Install the video doorbell backplate where your old doorbell was attached. Position the video doorbell backplate over the existing doorbell wires as shown. Attach the backplate to your home using the mounting screws included in the hardware pack. Attach the doorbell wires to the two terminals on the backplate. It does not matter which wire goes to either terminal. Install the video doorbell to the backplate by gently pressing the top rear corner of the doorbell into the backplate and swinging the bottom of the doorbell down and into place. Replace the small set screw removed earlier to attach the video doorbell to the backplate. 
Turn the power back on to the video doorbell by turning on the circuit breaker switch. Now you're ready to download and set up the HZ Connect app and connect the video doorbell to the app. Go to the App Store or Google Play and search for HZ Connect and download the HZ Connect app. To create a new account, open the app and press the register button. Type your email address and select get verification code. You'll use your email address to log into your account in the future. The app will send you an email with a verification code. Type that code into the app when prompted. Enter a password and select done. It's important to note that most special characters are acceptable in your password. However, there might be some that are not allowed, such as the at or circle A symbol. Now you're ready to add your new video doorbell to the HZ Connect app. Before adding your new video doorbell to the app, ensure your mobile device is connected to the same 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network that your doorbell will be using. After restoring power to your video doorbell at the circuit breaker box, wait one minute to allow the video doorbell to fully boot up. The LED indicator located around the push button will flash red when the video doorbell is ready to be added. On your mobile device, open the HZ Connect app. Make sure the app is showing the home screen. If it isn't, press the home icon at the bottom of the screen. To add a device, press the plus icon at the top of the screen. Make sure Add Manually is selected at the top of the screen. Select Heath Zenith in the left hand column and then select the correct device icon on the right. In the top right corner, select either QR code or AP mode. With QR code, You'll set up your video doorbell using the camera on your doorbell and a QR code that appears on your mobile device. AP mode will bypass the QR code and add your video doorbell through a short series of steps. For QR code, log into your home's Wi-Fi account when prompted. Make sure you're using your router's 2.4 GHz network. Place the QR code displayed on your mobile device in front of your doorbell's camera lens. Hold it about 6 to 8 inches away. When you hear an audible prompt, press the button labeled, I heard a prompt. The LED indicator will blink blue while the video doorbell is connecting to the internet and adding the video doorbell to the app. When the video doorbell connects to the internet and has been added to the app, the LED indicator will turn solid blue. If you're adding your video doorbell in AP mode, log into your home's Wi-Fi account when prompted. Make sure you're using your router's 2.4 GHz network. Follow the on-screen steps to complete the process of adding your video doorbell to the app. The LED indicator will blink blue while the video doorbell is connecting to the internet and adding the video doorbell to the app. When the video doorbell connects to the internet and has been added to the app, the LED indicator will turn solid blue. You're now ready to use the app to control your video doorbell.